Welcome to Forensics Detectors. I am Dr. Koji Gasme, the gas detector, and today I am your oxygen depletion monitor expert folks we're going to talk about oxygen depletion in an indoor situation such as your home such as a confined space one can find themselves at work such as a tunnel a solo and those precarious situations so what are we talking about ultimately we're talking about oxygen monitoring oxygen monitoring in a workplace so that if the oxygen depletes if the oxygen is deficient if the oxygen has been displaced by another gas making the oxygen level go down it will alarm to protect your life to protect injury folks we are talking about something like this it's an oxygen wall mount an oxygen wall mount monitor as you could see right over there 20.9 percent represents the oxygen in this room that is a normal level if the oxygen goes below 19.5 there will be an alarm and a buzzer and I'll give you an example of that right now I have a bit of nitrogen gas right over here we're gonna just buzz some right at the bottom of the monitor right over there bang and you will see the oxygen going down and buzzing this will tell you to take action obviously leave the premises leave the indoor space and notify a supervisor or an occupational health and safety officer folks this monitor what we call an oxygen depletion monitor an oxygen deficient monitor or some people call them oxygen fixed gas wall mount monitors this will protect and save your employees your workers and your life folks so these are required by OSHA in certain situations in a situation where you may be storing gas cylinders in an indoor environment you need an oxygen a continuous oxygen monitor just in case there's a leak and the gas displaces the oxygen this will alarm everybody to tell them something is up something is not correct in addition situations where nitrogen helium argon and those type of inert gases are prevalent such as an MRI room NMR room and other research and development situations where labs use cryogenics they use dry ice they use inert gases like I mentioned to perform experiments or processes or manufacturing folks so you will find these oxygen monitors actually in more places than you think you may actually need one because you haven't thought about it and well I must be OSHA compliant I need an oxygen depletion monitor Dr. Cos well this is it folks this is our number one oxygen deficient monitor that folks typically purchase okay so I hope that makes sense as you could see again the sensor is located at the bottom here it plugs up to a standard wall charger and you're good to go everything comes in the pack ready to go including most important most important folks where is that it is our calibration certificate what's calibration dr coswell we calibrate all our monitors here in los angeles california and you're provided with this certificate to make you comfortable to assure you that it is accurate it is working everything is hunky dory as we say down under and things will be operating correctly folks this will be shipping to you from our los angeles california laboratory folks i hope that makes sense again oxygen depletion monitoring is important for many different situations oh dr cos what about me at home home situations are actually a little bit different we get many customers calling saying dr cos i need an oxygen monitor for my home and i ask them what's going on at your home that you need an oxygen monitor for well I, i'm not sure i think it's too tight and i'm breathing and carbon dioxide is increasing so i want to check the oxygen no typically speaking typically speaking and most likely at home you need a carbon dioxide monitor because we're exhaling we're exhaling continuously throughout the night when we're sleeping if you have a tight room it's best to monitor carbon dioxide best in terms of it's cheaper and more sensitive it's cheaper and more sensitive okay folks so in those situations where OSHA regulation does not apply in your home in a bedroom in an occupant space at home in a residential situation most likely you will need 
carbon dioxide. Likewise, likewise, brewers use carbon dioxide because they're working with carbon dioxide fermentation processes. They must also continuously monitor carbon dioxide. So there's always a question, which shall I monitor, the oxygen or the carbon dioxide? If you know you have a supply of carbon dioxide, we recommend monitoring carbon dioxide. But Dr. Koz, what about if I have both? I have nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Well, there are situations where ocean needs you to do both. Monitor oxygen and carbon dioxide. So understand what you're dealing with. I hope that helps. We have a very nice blog, as you can see, laying out various situations and circumstances that could possibly help guide you. If you need more help, Dr. Koz is always here. now. I would like to add a few other points that always come up. Dr. Koz, what about personal safety? Well, we have oxygen monitors that you could clip on your chest or your belt. And as you could see, these monitors will alarm, they will vibrate and buzz when the level depletes below 19.5. Again, this is for confined space entry applications or for uh, continuous spot checking situations, okay? So these handheld units are fantastic and we sell tons and tons and tons of them, folks, okay? The other one is, Dr. Coswell, I have a room or a, or a, or a confined space and I don't know if the air quality is good. I want to sample the air before I enter. I don't want to be just sticking my hand in and taking a sample. No, the best thing to do in that situation is to get yourself a nice four gas monitor like this one over here. It's a four gas monitor. It has a built-in pump. You could hear the pump running. And you could see carbon monoxide, hydrogen sulfide, explosive, various combustible gases are detected, including oxygen. You could see 20.9. It has a pump. It draws air. Now, what's that good for, Dr. Cos? Well, it's good for this application. This is what people typically purchase it for. It comes with an extendable four-foot probe. Okay, so if you have a precarious indoor situation, a precarious confined space situation, you could use this probe. It then plugs up to the barb at the top here, and you could sample the space, the volume, the area before entering. It's a great idea. It's very safe, so you don't have to expose yourself while you're monitoring. So you could stand outside of the room and monitor. You could extend the tubing up to 20, 30 feet, and you could run it under the door or through a little gap. There are many situations where workers, where employees need this to protect them again before entering a potentially dangerous, unknown volume of space. So these are the um, different products for these different situations. And we have it all folks. Now again, you may have a unique situation you're not sure of. I recommend emailing me or calling and I could help guide you through the products that will fit your specific application when it comes to oxygen deficient monitoring. Look, folks, there's a lot of information there, but not to worry. Dr. Koz has laid it all out step by step in the blog, as you could see, to help you folks. It's always going to be there. If you have additional ideas, what to add or what I've missed, or any other questions, let me know and I will add it, folks. We want to build information. We want to build knowledge. We just want to sell off products and, and, and make a few dollars. No, folks. We want to educate you so you can make good decisions and you can understand the situation because we're talking about safety. Safety, your health, your family, your co-workers, your employees. We have to take care of each other and share the love, folks. That's what it's all about. I hope you're well. Be safe and see you soon.